going to be talking about group anagrams. That's question number 49. And this is a medium level question, um, and it's part of the strings and arrays uh, from Neat Code. But let's dive right into it. So the question is, given an array of strings, so let's look at the example here at the bottom. Right? Given an array of strings, group the anagrams together, and we can return it in any order, but our output is basically a nested array, an array of arrays, where each element or each group cons contains the anagrams. So an anagram is just basically um, words that have the exact same letters and the count are similar for those each for those for each of those characters. So for example, E A T, E appears once, A appears once, T appears once, similar with T. So these two would be considered anagrams of each other, but also eight and that would be it. So you can see there are three in this group. And for bat, well, there's only one word here that starts with a B. So, well, that contains a B. Um, so that would have its own bucket right there. So we're grouping the words from the strings here into groups of anagrams. Now let's take a look at our, the second example. Okay, so if it's an empty string, we just return a group with an empty string inside. Let's take a look at the third example, and if there's only one letter inside, then we return a group with one letter. So we're always returning a nested array, um, and that nested array would contain the group of anagrams. Um, and let's take a look at the solution. But first of all, we have to think, how do we group these words? How do we know that each particular word right, belongs to a certain group. Say for example, T-A-N. How does the code know that it doesn't belong with T-E-A? Well, to think about it, we need some sort of bucketing mechanism. And let's scroll over to the code here. Right there, so let me zoom in. And this is the solution right here, right? So I have I wrote down a utility function which just passes in one of the strings and what we're essentially doing is we're splitting up the string right into what the result would be an array of the letters and then we would sort the letters in alphabetical order and we would join them again together to create a specific key so the the result that we want to get from here right let me just copy and paste this example here and post it at line 5. All right. So the shape that we want is going to have to do with the keys that are being created. So EAT, right? If we arranged that alphabetically, it would be AET, right? And if we got went to the second element and we arranged that alphabetically, it would also give us AET. And now we know that okay, EAT and AET they belong in the same group. If we went to T-A-N, that would be probably A, P-R-S-T-N, A-T-N, if we're going to be grouping it, sorting it alphabetically. So the key for TAN, it would belong into this key, the A-T-N group. And how can we actually include that, each of the letters? So what we want is some sort of list, right? We go E-A-T, T-E-A, and if we're going through, we're iterating through, okay, 8 is also one of them, so it's getting pushed in there, right? And then N-A-T, nope. But if we sort that alphabetically, we can see that that key turns into A-T-N. So, you know, when we're going through the, the list here, we're actually pushing all of the anagrams into its buckets based on the letters in that string. So the letters create the keys, and then we push that into its respective bucket. And similarly for bat, it would just be ABT because we sort the letters alphabetically and we create an array and we push that word in there. So the, the order, if we look at the code, let's zoom in a little bit more. That's better, All right? So in line 15 of our solution, um, instantiating a variable called buckets and it's just a hash map or an object 
Then what I'm doing is I'm iterating through the strings. So I'm iterating through all of these individual strings here. And then I get our key using our utility function right here, which is just passing in the value. And what it does is it just splits it and then it sorts it and it joins it back into a string. So what the split does is say, for example, we have the string eat. What split will then do is turn it into something like, it'll turn it into this, basically. And then what sort does is it just sorts this array, and now we have this. And then when we join, it turns into AET, and we're returning this value as the key. As you can see, we're returning it here. So when we iterate through all the strings, we get the key first, and we check, does the key exist in our bucket? If it doesn't exist, meaning we've never seen it before, let's give that key, um, well, let's give this bucket a key that we've just created, and we're creating it an array with that specific element. So it would be eat in this case. So we push eat in there. Otherwise, if it does exist, then we just push it into the existing bucket. And at the end, we're returning the list of lists, the lists of buckets of anagrams. And we can just simply do that using object.values for the bucket. And what the bucket would look like by the end of our algorithm, it would look something like this. So let's see. The key for AET would include eat, t, and eight. The key for ATN would include the word 10 and nat. And finally, for ABT, we have the bat. That is what we're going for. And by using object.keys, object.values, sorry, we're actually just taking all of the values, right? These are key value pairs. We take the values and it returns an array of the values. So automatically, we were just already getting these right here. So, which is actually just exactly what we want for our solution here. And finally, that. This is the result of using object.values buckets. That on top. And so once we hit submit, we'll see that we can get the result. And if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave um, anything in the comment section below. Thank you.